Y en I'm back in the Halo. Hey, come on. Who are these little demons? Come here. Hello. Hello. Say hello to Wish. Come here, Banya. Come on. Good boy. Hey, good boy. Who are these two? So they're just free roaming in our house right now. Just to make our lives a living dream. Make a mess everywhere. I'm hanging stuff from the ceiling for them. Um, it's, it's definitely fun. But, uh, yeah, it's just so we can bond with them. So we can bond with them a lot. Uh, just while they're young. And then um, they will be going in a big aviary outside. But yeah, look at them. Very well behaved, very cool. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oi. Look at our big Valkyries now too. Look at you. Yes, you are so beautiful. Hey, Achilles, what are you doing? What are you doing down there? Oh, yeah, so there's just been a heap going on. I've just been working constantly, so I just haven't had much chance of doing anything. Um, I'll just pause for but I do have a couple more snakes that I want to show off. See how big some of these guys are going. This is the uh, this is that baby blackhead that I got ages ago. Now I gotta look how big she is. Remember her? She's huge now. Um, this is the wheat belt, and she is actually hopefully gravid. So that's a nesting box. So I should be expecting a clutch from her soon. Um, we got the marble in here. Marble Children Python. Hey buddy. It's pretty beautiful. And that's actually what um, I bred with the wheat belt, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything cool. It'll just probably just be hats and stuff out there. Um, I got this big girl. This big girl here. Nice big coastal carpet python. And um, that's she. she Pretty sure she's gravid as well, hopefully. Um, not much light in here right now, so I won't, um, won't annoy her. I won't annoy her too much because she's hopefully gravid. And then we got Eugene in here. There is no light in here. Oh yeah, if I'm gonna get a light. There you go. Bada bim, bada boom. Let there be light. So yeah, so that's the gravid female coastal. Hopefully gravid. And Eugene is doing well in here. Everyone's getting all uppity duppity because um, it's getting hot now. We're coming in spring. We got a big bucket. The big girl in there, she's just shed. We're gonna have to clean that out. I'm gonna have to do a couple of cleaning videos. Anyway, so yeah, there's a lot going on. And I got another two in here. Oh, venomous, venomous door, venomous room on the way. Have no venomous at the moment. We got Iva in there, the albino Darwin. We got the Jag in here as well. We got the baby olive python. She's doing well. She's just um, in shed right now too. And same with the albino um, olive as well. She's in, he's in shed too. These guys are new. So these is a short term quick enclosure. I just quickly built um, the possible um, Gra properly gravid as well. Um, they're bread lie, bread lie jags, um, and this is a zeb drag. She's beautiful. Um, but yeah, she, so this is just a temporary enclosure for right now, as um, I only just got them. And also another cool little thing that I got is it. Aki Monitor, so he's super cool. Um, they're super, super playful. I just fed him a bit. He's gonna go a bit crazy. So yeah, but she's right. Um, she's pretty cool too. So this is Aki Monitor. So she's um, got a nice um, rough tail there. It helps her um, defend herself from predators as well as wedge herself into rocks 
and stuff like that. She's um, this is a yellow phased, I'm pretty sure. So um, there's a red and yellow phased, um, but they're very very cool pets, and she will get about 60 centimeters long. So she's only little. Again, very temporary enclosure. She's new as well. She came. They all came from the same guy. All these snakes as well as that. So I've got a UVB and a heat light on her, but very temporary enclosure. Um, how's my little baby bell face going? Wherever she is, where are you? There you are, sleeping, sleeping, darling. Hey. So she's um she's doing all right um oh she's still um very fussy about eating in front of me um she sometimes does eat off of the um eat eat out of my hands like eat off of the uh, tweezers but um yeah no she's she normally will wait until I go away and then she'll eat um I took out the big water bowl had a massive water bowl in there for her. I'll top up the water, do a bit of a clean, which I'll do in a sec, and then, um, but yeah, so that's everything going all right. I've got a couple of, um, I've got a fish tank to show off too, and set that up, because I had crap everywhere in the backyard, I was just like, oh, I may as well get it out of the sun and fill it with water, see if it still had heaps of, I didn't leak or anything like that, so that's pretty cool, but yeah. So I'm getting my venomous very soon, hopefully, fingers crossed, in the last section of it now. And yeah, we'll just see how we go. I'll take you downstairs. Hello duckies. So we've got a few things going on out here. A lot of mess, because I'm just about to get a bobcat in here and do a lot of work, so I haven't bothered mowing or anything like that. Um, hi guys. Hey Mr. Mohawk. Where? Yeah. I'll take you in downstairs. So, this is my dungeon. It's a little bit short. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't see, but I've got um, uh, axolotls in there. Uh, this is my new tank that I set up. Give two seconds. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. So there's quite a bit going on in here. At the back there, there's Cedric. That's um, my Bursha. Um, we've got a couple of Australian and African mono, so they're the African ones. They'll grow pretty big. There's some uh, tiger barbs, and then they're the Australian monos, so they're related to the angelfish as well. But they just don't, um, pretty sure they just don't sh projectile um, attack things out of the sky. Uh, there is. Can't see, but there is some glass catfish in here as well. They're very hard to find, um, and they're not very big, where are we? Oh, there. You can see them? Should be able to just see them there. There's three of them, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's also some shrimp in here, just some normal shrimp. Uh, one of them as well, that's like a, some sort of Chinese sucker fish, but it's only a small one. Um, but yeah, how cool is that? It looks pretty cool. Nice and, um, nice and big, nice and clear. Probably gonna get some fly river turtles eventually. But yeah, so that's cool. So, um, but yeah, so I've been doing a lot, a little bit of stuff around here, but, um, I've just been working flat out. I'll take you up and see the mice and rats too. They've all got babies, they're all loving life. Hoo-hoo, tomatoes! 
They're doing very well. Very good. Yes. Oh, yes. You got to have the tomatoes because they're like $10 a kilo. What the hell? <laughs> One ivory. Setting it up. Still got to paint it and do make it nice all in there, but it's one Avery. It's a bow's enclosure. It's um pretty destroyed at the moment. <sighs> got to do a lot of maintenance this weekend. Um, but yes, it's pretty cool. Getting there, he'll be in his hollow now. Um, he comes out all day, and then when it starts to cool down, boom, it's straight back in there. There we go, Bowie. Hey, buddy. He's a bit, um... Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, how you going, buddy? Yeah? Bit of a shed, eh? Having a bit of a shed. So I'm gonna have to peel some of this stuff off him. Peel some of his skin off. He's not the most friendliest um, guy. Um, he had a bit of a run in with a cat when he was little. But he doesn't mind. A little bit of a scratch, eh? Try to get some of this skin off for you. Do you want me to help you? Yeah. Hey. I can help you. Come here. Hey, buddy. Hmm? Get some of this old skin off you. Hmm? That feel good? That feel good, does it? Hmm? It's okay, hey? It's alright. Oh yeah, sorry. Too far up, was it? Didn't like that, did ya? Anyway, so that's Bo. This is my four-year-old lace monitor, and he's cool. He's um just had a hard life. He um escaped, escaped on me for about a month, and I got him back. Um, he was really underweight, all this problem with him, but now he's doing good again. And then um, also when he was a baby, he escaped his enclosure again, because you're an escape artist, aren't you? And um, And uh, my partner's cat got him at the time, so he's actually lost a little bit of his uh, tail when he was a baby. And see, he's got battle wounds on him from escaping, and yeah, so he's just, um, I just kind of let him be now. He's gone through enough, so I just feed him and um, let him live out his days. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We'll put you back, you can have your little house back, all right? Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna upgrade that too. Yes, goodbye, Bo, goodbye. Hello, my ratties. Hello, the ratties. So, there's um quite a few ratties. Come over and say good day, quite friendly. But right there, in that home, there's babies and they're they're pretty big now they do come out rarely but they're not quite ready to run out you can see them in there but hello hello yeah so they got babies hello guys hello and then the micees put the micees in here all right mate they should have babies too What do we got? What do we got in here? Nothing. What do we got? What do we got under here? 
a big fatty. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got in here? Babies! Oh, they just ran away. But there's babies everywhere in there. Alright, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep, have your life back. Yep, sorry about that. Little, little baby ones running around. Look at this one. She's fat, she's ready to pop again. It's all happening. Look at them. So I just used this big ass tank because it had a leak. I was like, eh, why not? Um, we'll see how, see how I like it when I have to clean it all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Hey guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? Follow me around? Hmm? Hmm. Weirdos, the weirdos. But yeah, so that's it. That's it today. I was just showing you off what's happening. Um, I've got a heap of freaking clean to do. I'll probably do a little bit. I'll probably do another episode tomorrow or something. Just showing you me cleaning and we'll get out all the snakes and have a look at them. Make sure they're doing well. Um, but yeah. So yeah, it's just um, I'm just being pretty swamped, but I'm gonna. Um, Leave you with it, you beautiful people, and um, I'm gonna go help Bo shed off some of his skin and uh, make him feel a little bit more relaxed and do a, a fair bit of cleaning. Um, that's what happens when you have animals and you work for two weeks straight. You just everything just runs away on you, just gets out of hand. So I got a bit of work, a bit of work ahead of me this afternoon, and. I hope to see you soon. Like and subscribe. Go on some ventures soon. I promise. Let's do this. It's getting in the spring. Let's do some fun shit. Sounds good? Peace.